everybody. We are back with both reviews from July and August as well. The July theme was Good vs. Evil and the book was The Savage Song. So I have some feelings about this book. <laughs> it was it was really good. I got way into it, but it took me about 200 pages to do so, mm. which is way too much. It's a series opener, so part of it was the author setting up the world, um, which I get, but also it was really long exposition. After that it was super great, really action-packed, very non-stop in the last like third of the book. This is the start of a series so there's gonna be more um, and I think that now that things have happened it'll probably um, stay at that very action-y pace. It's the story of Kate and August. There's a city called Verity. It's kind of a dystopian setting. There are two halves. There's the North City and the South City. One of them is run by Kate's dad and he basically allows people to pay for their safety. There are these like monsters on the loose that are born from acts of violence, um, which is really interesting. And then you have August, whose um, adoptive parents run the other half of the city. They don't have as much of a structured state. Um, there's not really any sort of safety against these monsters, but there's this very shaky truce between the two sides and that truce is starting to crumble. Something happens with Kate and August that just sort of makes it explode. It is very good. A little long at the beginning, but I, I would still recommend it. So I have some additional recommendations, read likes for this. This book reminded me a lot of Holly Black's books. I'm going to do these really fast, um, quick one sentence. Uh, reviews. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, which is one of Holly Black's newer um, series. She does a lot of like urban fantasy and that's kind of the vibe that I got from, from this one. Girl wakes up after a party and everyone is dead, plus vampires, but not like sparkly ones. This is a, a fairy trilogy. These two deal with the same character who in the first book discovers she is not in fact human and is a pixie. Um, I'm not going to tell you what happens in the third book because it'll spoil the first book. So the, the first one is Tithe, and the third one is Ironside. And then the characters from those have cameos in the middle one, which is Valiant. This is actually my favorite of the three. People getting high on fairy food and trolls in the subway. They're excellent. I love these books. So, so well done. If you like the kind of vibe of the Savage Song, those would be really good. Ready for August's book review? Do it! Alright, August's book was P.S. I Like You by Casey West, and I loved this book. The story is about Lily Abbott, it's first person point of view from her perspective, and she's a high school junior. She is spacing out in chemistry class one day, and she doodles on her desk lyrics to a song from this kind of indie band that not a lot of people know about. And the next day when she comes into school, the lyrics are continued by a mystery writer, along with more like a message about how much they love the band. This starts a little pen pal relationship where they're passing notes to each other. Eventually that relationship develops along with she's dealing with regular high school drama of her best friend, her crazy family, she has lots of siblings, her parents are hilarious. There is a pumpkin pie blindfolded taste test between her parents where they have this little competition and it's just, I, their family was so much fun. I wanted to go have Thanksgiving with them. This is one of those stories where I couldn't sleep so I decided to read and read till it was finished. I really really loved it. I'm actually going to back read um, this author and read some more of her stuff. I enjoyed it so much. Yeah. So when I was reading this though it reminded me a lot of when I was in like high school middle school I really liked Lizzie McGuire and the TV show and it kind of reminded me of that. I actually was like picturing some of the characters looking like some of the characters from Lizzie McGuire. And the other book that jumped out at me as a reminder was Fangirl. If you've ever read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. It's so good. Um, my one sentence summary is twins going to college dealing with life changes family issues and guys. I have some additional recommendations um, based on the general premise of this book. First we have, I guess this is also a general author recommendation, um, David Le Levitan, I believe is how you pronounce his name. There's a controversy about this. I love his books. Um, they're very like, just like high school romance-y, usually pretty light, but also like some really important conversations. Oh, he, if you are familiar with John Green, he, uh, he co-wrote um, Will Grayson, Will Grayson. This particular one is How They Met and Other Stories, which has a bunch of like little meat cutes. Geek's Guide to Unrequited Love is um, guys in love with best friend and tries to woo her, woo her at Comic-Con. 
I also like Giant Days, which is a graphic novel. This one actually kind of reminds me of Fangirl. It's these um, three friends meet at college, shenanigans ensue. And then Anna and the French Kiss which is another kind of nice romancy thing. A girl is shipped off to Paris and meets this guy who unfortunately has a girlfriend, but still shenanigans ensue. In Paris. I feel like in Paris. Which is the best. Parisian shenanigans. The best kind of shenanigans. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that is, I think, all we have today. Soon we will have the September unboxing. And don't forget to comment on the video. So comment and potentially win all of the things and this awesome book. And until then, I'll see you next time.